Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is just a fast video to show you how you can convert two PDF files into a parallel text document. So one of the things you're going to need to do this is a tool called PDF Toolkit uh, or PDF TK. Now you can get various versions of this but I use the server version and the server version is basically just um, a command line interface it works under Linux and Windows and Mac so it's not a problem to run on everything uh, and with this you can merge documents you can collate them you can rotate the pages you can encrypt them decrypt them uh, add pages remove pages unpack them, pack them, compress them, you name it, you can do everything with this thing. Uh, but today what we're going to do is, what we're, what the command here is, is shuffle. So we're going to shuffle the um, two documents. Now, to get the documents, what I did was I went to basicfantasy.org. Uh, have you seen this if you watched any of my other videos? It's a, a open source Creative Commons um, role-playing game and they have the actual books and you can see that they have French translation, German translation, Italian translation and so what I wanted to do was change the English rules and take the French translation and turn that into a single book which is a parallel text. Now all I did was I downloaded the English version and I downloaded the French version and I put them in a directory, which you can see here. So I have the basic rules English and the basic rules French. So what I want to do now is I basically want to create a single merge document. And I'm going to use PDFTK to do that. I'm going to, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to label each one A and B. So I label the French file as A. And you don't have to do this. Uh, you can put the full names in, but it makes the command line easier. So I make A equal to the French PDF. B is equal to the English PDF. I say that I want to shuffle A and B together. So this is, it means shuffle as in like when you shuffle a deck of cards and you have the you split it into two and then you shuffle and it intermingles all of the pages well that's what this is going to do and then I tell it that the output file that I want is going to be called basic fantasy rules parallel text so I just run that this literally takes a minute to run and then we will get the final document so you can see now that I have three and the third one is this one which is the combined result of both of those. So if we look at that in a, in a PDF viewer, you can see here that the page is, although the numbers are the same, the, if you were to print this, the left-hand side would be in French and the right-hand side would be in English. So this is very useful when you want parallel text to read but you don't want to be looking up every word. So you can look at this sentence, get an instant translation over here on this side, and basically you have a full book. Now you can do this with any PDF file that you want, and in fact you could uh, take, if you, if you get two Word documents for example, you could take the Word document and using the conversion program I showed you earlier, uh, the Calibri thing, you can convert pretty much anything into PDF or you could load it up into Word and export it as a PDF uh, or whatever. But when you get the PDF, you can then get PDF Toolkit to shuffle and combine them for you. So that's it for today. It, it doesn't really cover even a third of the uh, facilities which the PDF Toolkit will do for you. Um, but it's very useful in this regard. So if you're creating parallel text and you have PDF files, this might be the way to go. Now you might think, well, where am I going to get that sort of thing? Well, you, you the basic role-playing game is one example, but if you went to Project Gutenberg, um, if 
for example, uh, Project Gutenberg, they have various languages. So you could pick the language that you want. Um, let's pick Italian, do a search, and then find possibly one of these, um, but also one in English. So one that I know of done before, which was in French, but it's the same principle, is um, uh, Jules Verne books, for example, were published in both English and uh, French versions. And so you can create your own parallel text with those. I've also created parallel texts uh, from Jerome K. Jerome books uh, and lots of other books that are on this site which have been translated. So Dickens has been translated into various languages. So you can get the English version and the f French version or whatever and combine them together. You may have to, uh, because Project Gutenberg is going to be mostly text, you, you're going to have to convert it from a text or EPUB uh, probably into PDF and then do the combine, but it's really easy to do this sort of text conversion stuff nowadays. Uh, there's lots of commands for it. So keep this in mind if you want to make parallel text and you have the ability to get, download, or convert documents into PDF files, that the PDF toolkit will help you shuffle them into a single document. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe for similar videos. And if you have any suggestions about computer-related language learning uh, tips or information or techniques or software that you'd like to see, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll have a go at, at doing a, um, a video for that. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.